When Sergeant James Hughes got off the plane in Newport News in November of 1979, the Iranian takeover of the American embassy was just 20 days old. At that time, Hughes said the Iranians had treated him and the other hostages quite well. Food was food. You couldn't say no more than that about it. And it was okay. But there were reports the Iranians were playing Russian roulette with some of the hostages, beating and tying up others. So it was only after Hughes saw that the remaining 52 Americans were free and safe in Algeria that he confirmed those reports. The experiences with weapons and the use of weapons around me, and it was obvious to me that they didn't know what they were doing with the weapons. Uh, they played with them, they pointed them at you, and just like a child with a toy, almost. Hughes says he'd been beaten, kicked, and bitten while he was held captive. Other memories, he says, too painful ever to reveal. Oh, wow, a lot. Like it's things in life that you uh, never forget, and some things that happened to me that no one will never know, because I'm not going to ever tell anybody, and they still bother me. Hughes says he felt guilty he'd been let go while his colleagues remained prisoners, and he resented the Iranians' reasoning for freeing him and other blacks. And I felt as though I should have still been there with them. It shouldn't have been send me home because I'm black. Send me home because I'm not guilty or I didn't do anything that you were accusing me of. Don't do me a favor because I'm black. Any advice for the families of the 52 American what? hostages? Be patient and y'all stop ringing this phone. <laughs> Benny Williams, Area 10 Eyewitness News.